Severino, you know, my neighbour in number 21, he was telling me he saw an actual pack of wolves running around on the waste ground next to Stranger Pond. And we had an incident the other night with bandits in the tree line. Right in the bloody tree line. I don't know about all that. Even if there are lots of bandits and wild animals out in the wild, and around the dig, like you say, you're safe in your village inside the arch. What difference does it make at this point? This point? The difference is, the bloody Portreeve is the one who folded all the sheriff departments other than the one in Steamtown. Now the only law and order out here is the Portreeve special agents, if they ever show up. And most of the time when they do turn up, it's to make trouble for villagers. That I can tell you. Let alone the truck stop. That place is like the bloody Wild West. It's a tough job. Long haul, driving through the swamp on that overgrown highway, driving out through the waste around the dig. The truckies would be a lot safer if there were still sheriffs out here. So the poor trees abolished all the surrounding sheriff departments. So what? Maybe it was a cost train move, in which case, good. Anything that stops bills eating into our credit is fine by me. There's more to life than doing the daily keno and earning bloody credits, Susanna. We're all just serves for the Portreeve. Steamtown dominates the Gulf Coast and the Portreeve runs Steamtown. That's just how it is and nothing's going to change that. I don't know. I have a weird feeling that something is going to change dramatically and soon. Between that bizarre story about a UFO landing on top of the Steamtown Hotel and those stories about Bigfoot loose in the alleyways, Something's going to give, and in a big way. OK, well, I need to open up now. Are you going to come and visit me here in Steamtown soon? As soon as I can get away. You know I work from home, but I still can't keep my own hours. Too many business calls some days. But as soon as I can. OK, Jack. Bye. What the bloody hell was that? There's someone outside. By those locked up sheds. I'm gonna go and have a look. Be not afraid. I am Zakay, herald of King Osric, once and future king of this land. And I need your help, good sir knight. <laughs> nice one. Well, I can't smell toast, so I must have had a psychotic break. Lovely. You have not suffered any sickness. I am not a hallucination either. I am part of the natural condition of this planet, just as you are. I have simply appeared here. Most people are too unobservant to even notice my kind. Or if they see us, or something else that's strange from one of the other worlds that overlap, they just explain it away in their own heads, and go about their business. The mundane world has a powerful hypnotic effect on most of those who dwell in it. Your cottage is built directly on top of an ancient dungeon. It was here even before colonial times, although I'm sure the fortress built in colonial times was aware of it. They must have had an access tunnel, because your ancestor was entrusted with the key to open the doorway which leads down there. We must go down there and confirm that the zombie Namakon, the ancient Grand Grimoire, still sits in its place. If it does not, it means the forces of darkness have already found it, and we will have to retrieve it from them. If it is there, we will have to read from it, and find out what its will it may be. We must restore King Osric to his throne, and end the evil reign of the Portreeve. The Portreeve's up to no good. I bloody knew it. I was just saying that before you showed up. From the moment the Portreeve took over, He's destroyed all the law and order, brought chaos to all the wildlands, all the villages like mine. He's up to no good. That's right. The portrait does not belong here at all. And he has taken the land from Osric, the rightful king. Osric is the once and future king of this land. Once and future king, eh? You see, I may not be a real monarchical expert as such. But even I know when royalty refers to itself as once and future king, what it really means is it isn't the king right now, is it? And we must help him retake his land. Then all can live in peace and harmony. 
I will go back and make my report to King Osric and his supporters. In the meantime, please, search everywhere and find the key. Without it, we will not be able to open up the door and explore the dungeon. Farewell, good night. <sighs> what the bloody hell just happened? Steam Town, my town. Supremely blissfully ignorant of my rule for the most part. But now, disruptions and unpredictable events plague my carefully controlled ecologies. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect my old nemesis had somehow cheated death and had some hand in all of this. But no. This is something new. Something different. The thought of it almost entertains me, as much as I prefer order and calm progress. Novelty, after all these years. The UFO landed on top of the hotel, piloted by that wretched Kelcropper child. The Axis Box Factory, experimenting with the interdimensional zoom waves. I need to turn my mind to what it all means. Master. Yes, Thrall. There's a report from your rangers. An unknown entity tripped the electronic perimeter near the village of Isabella Springs. And? The rangers have investigated and destroyed it by now, I assume? No, Master. The rangers detected it, but were too far away. They are pursuing a large group of bandits and problemites who stole many things from the dig. Ah. Where is the unknown entity now? It has crossed back over the electronic perimeter in the same location. If the rangers are occupied with the chaotics, then send drones and bots. I want the entity intercepted if or when it returns. Intercepted and captured. If capture is impossible, destroy it. Yes, my portrait. Also, send a community carer to Isabella Springs. Snoop around. See if this entity has contacted any of the villagers there. Yes, my portrait, it shall be done. More random factors. How irritating. What the bloody hell happened here today? Giant moth calling me at night? And it also had to do with Grandad Henry. A very strange old coot he was. Came here to sort of settle down after his life of adventure. Mum and Dad always said I was a chip off his old block. They were worried about it, in fact. Now what you get mixed up in? Now I'm mixed up in it. Then where am I going to find this bloody key? Should I even look for it? I don't know.